dear parents and my dear students i welcome all of you to shahin group of institution today we are going to discuss the strategy for preparation for neat biology 2022 in remaining 20 days how we are going to utilize our time more effectively so that our all revisions are going to be completed let's discuss how to score a perfect 360 in neat biology this is the most what uh, heard question and discussion discuss question biology is the most important section of neat paper everyone knows it uh, holds 50% weightage to score a good marks in biology what is needed is you should trust your class notes and you should trust your study material ncert all the things that you have underlined year long those points to be revised perfectly and wherever you are getting doubt or wherever the areas which are weaker for you identify those topics or sub topics and give more attention and more focus on those underlined terms and then every year 75 to 85 questions out of 90 are asked from ncert test books directly and 60 to 65 questions are taken directly from ncert lines and 20 questions around they are multiple concept based question sometime two or three chapters concepts may combine in one question and they will frame and that will be we call that question as hot question and if you attain those questions then you will be the ranker so that's why we we have to focus on each and every part of the chapter see the chapter is also having easy things very easy so don't leave easy things also revise them sometimes students they may get confused even with the very silly or simple thing they may forget it so remaining 20 days effectively you should do revision so that each and every point of the class notes and underlined terms of ncert should be revised so how to study from ncert books so in remaining 20 days what you can do is you can get the definitions of underlined terms or bold letters whatever bold letters are given in ncert those things are very important and explain through diagrams diagrams are going to be very important in competitive exam because uh, from the diagram theoretical question will be derived okay they will uh, they may not ask what directly diagram but they will derive the question from the diagram from the labeling so each and every labeling you have to follow and whatever information given below the diagram you must follow it and after reading a difficult concept generate your own questions raise your own questions you ask yourself what will be the question frame from this difficult concept even if there are some topics of which are going to be very hard or difficult for you you can discuss with friends so that your short term memory converted into long term memory so time management will be very important how to utilize these remaining 20 days and how to manage the course don't run for a single topic for a long time suppose if a student is reading one particular chapter and taking more time in that don't do like that so in remaining 20 days you have to revise everything so that means you should not run for a single topic for a long period of time so books whatever very important book is your class notes and after that if you get time you can revise the underlined terms from the ncert or marginal points whatever you have written year long those points also you can revise it so remember don't forget these points do all subjects daily this is most important your day must start early and you should give time for each and every subject do multiple reading for biology 
मल्टीपल रीडिंग वेर एवर रिक्वायर्ड रिविजन आर मोर रिक्वायर्ड इन इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री और इन बायोलॉजी वेर एवर रिविजन इज रिक्वायर्ड यू मस्ट डू इट डू हाईलाइट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एंड इवन यू कैन मेक सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट बुलेट पॉइंट ऑल्सो यू कैन मेक नाउ ऑल्सो आफ्टर रीडिंग ए पैराग्राफ और ए चैप्टर इफ यू आर गेटिंग समथिंग ए न्यू टर्म फॉर यू you can give attention again you can make a bullet point of that now also remember you can use your pencil or you can use your highlighter pens to mark out the things so that the day before exam or one week before exam you can revise all the things which are very important required for you do mcqs daily basis yes we are writing so many mock exams so in that mcqs will be covered every day after writing mock exam whatever question you are doing mistake those questions you should get the solution of those questions you can discuss or you can clear your doubts with your teacher spend more time on weak topics yes identify in physics chemistry or biology which topic is weaker for you and give time for that topic so you can make a list of all the chapters in biology or chemistry or physics based on the priority of what your weaker parts so where your chapter is weak which sub topic is weak you can note down the page number and you can do what revisions on that you must have noticed that in the ncert book blank margin is there and you you may be use that blank margin effectively throughout the year we have written something in that blank margin so those points to be recalled it has a purpose that blank margin okay highlighter points whatever you have underlined throughout the year revise them read each paragraph with 100% attention right follow the guidance of teacher because teacher knows that which topics are more important every time in your classroom we are going we are giving what these are the very important topics say for example if i say in ecology students do mistakes because in most of the time from the ecology statement based questions will be arised or from the very easy topics like microbes human welfare and strategies for enhancement in food production students usually overlook their, those topic because they think they are very easy chapter but in exam what happens actually they will arise what statement based questions so you should give attention on that trust your teacher trust your material follow classroom notes because many time notes help you to understand a concept in the better and easier way actually your class notes are easy for you and remember class notes are ncert plus x application your class notes are covering both ncert plus application but ncert is covering only ncert not having so, so many application and uh, most of the time we have some new points in our cl classroom notes so don't forget to revise them okay time everyone is having time limitation time limitation is there and there are certain things which you have to remember at remembering is very important mugging is very important also in some part of inorganic chemistry or biology you have to remember so many example or sometime value or some number numer numerical you have to remember right and there will be confusion in that how to manage these things these things to be revised one week before exam right say for example joint forest management when it was started 1980 so this thing you have to uh, revise it before exam right earthworm segments are there right and students still they have doubt whether earthworm and frog is included in syllabus or not yes they are included and they are asking question even previous year paper also you can check arthwam question is there okay whatever ncert is having charts tables or sometime maps 
even classroom notes are having some tricks you have to follow each and everything yes uh, most of the time you, our classroom notes they are having what mnemonics tricks are there you have to take those tricks and you can remember the concept easily here you can check this one a very simple you know all five kingdom classification is based on cm trp hai na? cm trip like this we practice c for cell type m for mode of nutrition t for thallus organization we know all these things just uh, i am recalling that your class notes are having mnemonics so follow them okay approaching question is also very important approaching question that means how we are approaching a question how we are taking a question how we are reading it and how we are revising the things that is playing very important role in choosing the correct answer you can check here which is genetically not possible with respect to hemophilia which is genetically not possible yes so say for example if this type of questions are coming in exam so first of all underline the thing which is genetically not possible so you have to underline here not with respect to hemophilia also yes underline the second term hemophilia then start reading the options one by one right i'm not going to explain this question now you know already this answer but uh, the thing how to approach a question how to choose the correct answer how to read the option that i am showing you here the question is which is genetically not possible so keywords must be underlined in the question circle this not and hemophilia and read the first option whether it is correct or wrong take the decision then and there yes a option wrong b option wrong c option right then also you read fourth option okay then and there after reading each option take the decision and mark here whether it is right or wrong see here how many atp are used in kelvin cycle for the fixation of one carbon dioxide molecule why i am taking this question see students most of the students what they do they read only half of the question so if you read this question half then you are getting different answer if you read this question full you are getting different answer that's why I'm selecting this. How many ATP are used in Kelvin cycle for the fixation of one carbon dioxide molecule in a reduction step? He's asking what reduction step, you know, for the fixation of one carbon dioxide in Kelvin cycle, three ATPs are required for the fixation of one carbon dioxide in reduction step. They are asking only in reduction, not in complete Kelvin cycle. They are asking only in reduction step. So that means so if you are reading the question perfectly complete question and you are underlining the things there are very very less chances that you are doing error or mistake so that's why it's my advice every student should underline the keyword given in the question then if i talk about unit wise approach unit wise approach see if you are reading plant physiology human physiology cell biology so you can check the previous year questions prepare them these units according to previous year questions what is the trend is going on in human physiology how they are asking say for example in human physiology if they are asking nine question or ten question most of those questions are mechanism based so you are whatever concept mechanisms are given in muscle contraction or it may be in urine formation mechanism or the method of counter current mechanism you should be clear you should have what crystal clear concept then only it's possible to solve these units question wherever see student one more you are having opportunity now you can identify where you are lagging in human physiology which chapter in which mechanism you are weak identify that and read it okay kingdom animalia and kingdom plant a comparatively tough topic follow ncrt line by line kingdom animalia and plant a is having so many example right students so many example just follow the class notes in class notes for each and everything mnemonic is given trick is given follow them 
जेनेटिक्स एंड एवोल्यूशन इट रिक्वायर वॉट एक्सरसाइज एज मेनी एज पॉसिबल एम सी क्यूज यू हैव टू डू फ्रॉम दिस जेनेटिक्स एंड एवोल्यूशन चैप्टर जेनेटिक्स इज गोइंग टू बी ए चैलेंजिंग क्वेश्चन फॉर ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स so even our classroom notes are also having the simple numerical that is possible from the genetics molecular basis and evolution you can do it you can do mcqs many mcqs from this unit biotechnology require what a strong conceptuality biotechnology say for example that pbr 322 area how the pbr 322 is selected in transformant non transformant recombinant non recombinant that all you have to have what a strong concept to check that concept you can check what a previous year questions again ecology again ecology require what line by line reading if you are missing any of the chapter from ecology if you are not read this chapter ecology properly say for example ecological succession or nutrient cycling you can read them now class notes ncrt and 100 mcqs per chapter already you have done this right understanding of concepts in theory can only be implemented through practicing mcq that means after reading theory you should practice a lot of mcqs and those mcqs you are doing through mock exams every day you are writing mock exam right so those mock exam those questions that with difficult questions the uh, those questions for which you are not getting solution easily practice them and get the knowledge from the teacher you should practice mcq from the standard books whatever shahin modules are available a finger tips is available or previous year questions are also available you can check these things so just do it always remember that more you sweat in calm less you bleed during the war yes this is a very important and more you sweat in calm less you bleed during the war that means if you go with preparation if you are give, give what uh, going to the examination with preparation there will be what uh, less trouble in examination hall you will get all the questions one by one you can do it very fast do your best almighty god will manage the rest so try your level best how much you can do your 100% effectiveness that complete energy you should spend in preparing for exam right so remember students one important line इन हिंदी लहरों से डरकर नौका पार नहीं होती लहरों से डरकर नौका पार नहीं होती मेहनत करने वालों की कभी हार नहीं होती तो याद रखिए ये लाइन्स एंड डू यूअर हंड्रेड परसेंट अफेक्टिवनेसली वॉट एवर प्रिपरेशन आर नीडेड वेर एवर यू आर लैगिंग आइडेंटिफाई दो चैप्टर और मेक ए लिस्ट वेर यू आर लैगिंग write the page number yes i am getting doubt on page number 38 i am getting doubt in page number 39 or like that make a list from chemistry or biology and give solution for that okay all the best for your preparations aap acha kar sakte hain exam mein bahut hi acche se aap padhe hain you are written so many mock exams every day weekly so many exams you are written so definitely अगर आप अच्छे से सारे चीजें रिवाइज करके एग्जाम में जाएंगे तो डेफिनेटली आप ही टॉपर बनेंगे राइट right? आप हिम्मत करके जाइए अच्छे से और एग्जाम जो है बेहतरीन तरीके से लिख कर आइए रिमेंबर ईच क्वेश्चन इन एग्जाम इज वन स्टेप टूवर्ड्स योर सक्सेस टेक एवरी क्वेश्चन सीरियसली राइट सो रीड ऑल द ऑप्शन अंडरलाइन द की ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू Oh, oh, oh.